Other news, independent review panel says safety not the uh, top priority at the T. The panel convened in the wake of that derailment over the summer of a red line train. Yeah, the report found a number of shortcomings, adding that the T's approach to safety is questionable. I've been news reporter Alexander Leslie has been looking through the report this morning. Well, the safety review panel has 34 recommendations, and those contain 60 corrective actions that the panel believes will put the T on the path to safety, decreasing the frequency and severity of accidents. Now, after a series of derailments and other accidents, the panel commissioned last June. Through these, it found the safety department is, quote, grossly understaffed with personnel lacking safety expertise and therefore unable to meet the T's needs. Plus, the, the panel found that safety needs to be a top-down approach. The report found over the past 10 years, the frequent turnover in general managers has been, quote, disruptive and put the agency in a vulnerable position. Since 2010, nine general managers have come and gone, with the current GM in the position since this January. The panel's report paints a clear picture of where the MBTA must improve its practices and evolve as an organization. And there is a deadline that the MBTA needs to keep in mind. The Federal Transit Administration says all mass transit throughout the U.S. need to have a certified safety management system in place by next July. I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.